In this lesson, you'll learn to recognize and factor a special kind of trinomial, a perfect square. In this lesson, we'll only cover trinomials that have a leading coefficient of 1, as in this example. To understand how to recognize perfect squares, it's helpful to work backwards from the result of factoring. Here's the result when you factor this trinomial. It's the square of a single binomial. Now let's rewrite this binomial by squaring it. You already know how to do this. First, you rewrite the expression as the product of a binomial times itself, like this. Since you use the same binomial twice, the terms in each factor are the same. This is important, as you will see shortly. The next step in the multiplication is to use the distributive property to multiply the two terms. Here, notice that the two middle terms are exactly the same. Last, you complete the multiplication by combining the two identical middle terms. When we square a binomial with a leading coefficient of 1, the result is always in this form. The first term is the square of the first term in the original binomial. The last term is the square of the last term in the original binomial. The middle term is two times the last term in the original binomial. This is always true for the middle term since we always add the same number to itself. It's important to learn to recognize trinomials that are perfect squares because factoring them is easier if you do. Here's a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1 x squared plus 10x plus 25. Is this a perfect square trinomial? If it is, the last term must be the square of an integer, which it is. It's the square of plus 5 and the square of minus 5. Next, the coefficient of the middle term must be 2 times one of these values. It is. It's 2 times plus 5. So this is a perfect square trinomial. We can now factor it into the square of a binomial like this. The first term is x, since the leading coefficient of the trinomial is 1. The second term is the positive or negative square root of the third term. It will always be the one that has the same sign as the middle term. The middle term is positive, so the square root we use is positive 5. Another example. To determine whether this is a perfect square, the first thing we check is the first term to see if the coefficient is 1. It is. Next, we check the last term to see if it is the square of an integer. In this case, the last term is the square of 3 and the square of minus 3. This means the trinomial meets the first test. Next, we check the coefficient of the middle term. Is it 2 times 3 or minus 3? Yes, it's 2 times 3. So the trinomial meets the second test. It's a perfect square. Now we can factor it easily. All we have to decide is whether the second term is plus 3 or minus 3. The middle term of the trinomial is positive. So we use positive 3. The factors are both x plus 3. So the answer is x plus 3 squared. Another example. Is it a perfect square? The leading coefficient is 1. The last term is the square of 7. And negative 7. Now we check the middle term. Is the coefficient 2 times one of these numbers? Yes, it's 2 times negative 7. So this trinomial is a perfect square. This means we can factor this polynomial into x minus 7 squared.